Hi everyone. In this video, we'll learn how to create an invoice in Zoho Books when a record is added to a form in Zoho Creator. The screen you see now is an order form to collect customer orders. We have the purchase details as a sub form here. This allows the customers to choose multiple products in a single order. Let's see how to automatically generate an invoice in Zoho Books by submitting an order in this form. These are the lines of steps that you need to configure to accomplish this requirement. Establish a connection between Zoho Creator and Zoho Books account. Forming field connections and getting to know the API names. Create a workflow to validate the data entered in the orders form. Create a workflow to push the data from the orders form to Zoho Books on successful form submission. Generate an invoice in Zoho Books after placing an order in the creator form. The first step will be creating a connection to exchange order details between Zoho Creator and Zoho Books. Connections let you integrate and seamlessly exchange data between Zoho Creator applications with other Zoho and third-party cloud services. To create a connection, go to the editor and choose microservices. The connections, data sources, AI and AR models available in your account will be listed here. Click create new. Proceed to create a new connection. There are two types of connectors, built-in and custom. We have identified a list of services that our users frequently try to create a connection with and listed them here. The connection will be created by default when you define the integration actions. You can create a custom connector if the preferred service is not listed here. Choose Zoho Books in the list of services. Enter the connection name. Next, you must specify the level of access to perform in this connection. All actions enables access to the entire service. When choosing only specific actions, you create a connection to provide module or action-based access. Enable the checkbox to use the same authorization for all environments. Click Create and Authorize. The next step will be to authorize the account. Provide a name and choose the environments you want to enable this authorization. The environments option will only be visible if you enable the previous steps checkbox. Click Authorize. You will be redirected to a page to allow Zoho Flow to access the application data. The authorization appears this way because it is an integration task within Zoho products. For third-party apps, you must authorize by logging into the respective account to allow data access. We have now created a connection between Creator and Books. You may enable the toggle button for the applications you want to make this connection accessible. We have the following fields in the orders form. Name email, product name, quantity, and rate. These names will be used as the field names in the Dilute script. Next, we'll see the API names and field connections. For demonstration purposes, we have shown the field names of our orders form and the corresponding API name as a table for your reference. Refer to the Zoho Books API document for other fields and module names. We have attached the link for your reference in the description box. Next, let's define a workflow to validate if a record in Zoho Books matches the data entered by the user in Zoho Creator. If the data is absent, we'll create a new record for the user. To achieve this requirement, proceed to create the workflow. Go to the editor and select the workflow to run on a form event. In this case, we'll choose the orders form and run this when a record is created or edited. This workflow should validate the entered data while submitting. So, Choose Validation on Form Submission. Name the workflow and click Create Workflow. Then, click Add New Action. The Dilute Script Builder will open. We have copy-pasted the code snippet to save you time. However, we'll explain the code step-by-step -step to help you understand the logic. This code snippet will check if the user's record exists in Zoho Books. We have used the Zoho Books API to fetch records from Zoho Books and Zoho's integration task has been used here. Name the variable as response, choose books from the service list, select the action name as get records from the list. This action fetches the record from Zoho Books. Here, contacts is the Zoho Books API module name. To perform all the operations from creator, we need to pass the record by how it is termed on Zoho Books. So, every module in Books will have a unique name. Followed by the name, organization ID, the ID of your Zoho Books account, comma, and the search criteria of the contact name and email ID are entered. Contact name and email is the API name of contacts and email, respectively. Contact name equals to plus, input.name, along with that, 
and email equals plus input dot email searches the name and email which is being entered in the orders form. Next, create a books is the connection name. Entering this connection name is optional. We have named the get task as contact list. This variable contains the list of contacts that match the contact name email criteria we gave in the orders form. We have used an if condition to check whether the retrieved contact list is empty. If a contact exists, it will execute the successful form submission script which we'll see later in this video. Otherwise, it will create a new record in Zoho Books before generating an invoice. Here, if contact list is empty, ensures the returned collection variable is empty. If empty, it will create a new record in Zoho Books. We have used the create map task to create a map and package the data to create a new record. Add the name fields data which will be submitted in the orders form. In the next line, the create list task has been used, named as C list. Add the emails field in a map called C map, then add the map to the C list. In the next line, add the C list to the contact map we created earlier. We have added the email field in the contact persons module as the email attribute has to be passed through this module to push the record. Using the create record integration task, we have created create contact response. We'll add the module name contacts followed by org ID, the map, contact map and the connection name. Again, we use the if condition to check if the record was created. The Zoho book success response for API actions will always be zero. The get task ensures that the record we made doesn't return any number other than zero. So, if it returns zero, the record is eventually created. If it returns any different number, we'll get an alert stating error, customer not inserted in Zoho books. Then the cancel submit task cancels the record submission. This step lets the user know if their created record has been pushed into books. In the next line, we have used the for each record task to iterate through all the lines in the subform. We have come to the last part of this snippet. Use the same process to fetch and check item details inside the loop as we did for contacts. Zoho integration task has been used again. Items is the Zoho Books API module name. Add the search criteria of the item name along with that. Name equals to plus input dot product name such as the item name and after that, add the connection name. Here, we have used the get task again, named it as item list. This item list variable contains the items that match the item name criteria in Zoho Books. Once the if condition is met, the system throws an alert stating item not found and the submission will be cancelled upon execution. The workflow on successful form submission plays the next part of mapping the data submitted in the orders form. Customer ID is the API name of contacts in invoices module of Zoho Books and the name we submit in orders form gets mapped in Zoho Books using this customer ID. This workflow will check if the user entered data in the creator form is valid and present in the Zoho Books. Proceed to create a workflow on a form event. Select the orders form. This action must run when a record is created or edited. Then. The script has to be triggered once the form has been submitted, so choose Successful Form Submission. Give a name to the workflow. Then, click Create and Add New Button. This action has to run always, so let the option be As Always. Then the Dilute Script Builder will open. We have copy-pasted the code snippet. However, we'll explain the snippet line by line. This script will push the data from Creator to Books and generate an invoice. We created a list, created a map inside that list and added data to the map. Next, we have added the map with data to the previously created list. Here, the create list task is used. Name it orders list. Next, we have used the for each record task to iterate through all the lines in the subform purchase details. Then, copy and paste the syntax we had for items in the validation on form submission script to fetch records of items in Zoho Books and name the variable as item response. We have used the create map task, named it as order details and added data to it using the put task. We have stored the fetch response in a variable and added data to our created map. The get task is used to store the fetch response as we had done earlier for contacts. 
Then, item equals item list dot get zero will fetch the first and exact item we entered in the orders form. Then, here we have added these data to the map order details we created earlier. Add the Zoho Books API name item ID and along with that item dot get item ID. This contains data of the item we are searching. Next, the order details dot put name comma line dot product name includes the name key and the value for that would be line dot product name which is our orders forms field name. Do the same for the quantity and rate fields. Next, the add task adds the map data to this list which is orders list dot add order details. Now, use the same script line we used in the validation part to get the records from Zoho Books for contacts as well. Fetch the contacts, store them in a variable and create a map to generate an invoice. Fetch the contact from books. Then, store it in a variable to fetch the first item from the list. Create a map called values using the create map task which contains the item and contact details. The put task adds values to the map. First, add the data of the contact which we fetched. Here, customer ID is the API name contact.get contact ID fetches the contact which we submitted in the orders form. Next, line items is the API name comprising item details. Orders list is the list we created to store all the data of the items. Add both to the values map. We have now added the values of the contact and item. The last part is to generate an invoice using Zoho integrations create record task. Type the module name invoices followed by the organization ID and the map values. We are now done with the scripts. Next, we'll see how this works in real time. We'll come to the orders form and enter a name and an item. Click submit. We can see the record getting submitted after validation. Simultaneously, check the Zoho Books account. Great! We can view the invoice that has been generated for the data we entered in Zoho Creator's orders form. You can use connections for such different product integration tasks. Awesome! We hope this video helped you learn how to create an invoice in Zoho Books when a record is added to a form in Zoho Creator. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is released. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video.